Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements, and here we are in Premiere Elements. And today I want to talk about a basic principle of video editing. It applies to virtually all video editors, but if you're relatively new to video editing, dealing with this particular principle can be a little bit frustrating until you understand what's going on. Now we have two clips on our timeline here, and I want you to notice something about the ends of the clips. The point where they meet. Notice in the upper right hand corner here of the outgoing clip, there's a little gray triangle. You can barely see it. In the upper left hand corner of the incoming clip, you'll see the same thing, a little gray triangle there. Now that indicates that the clip is fully unspooled. Nothing has been trimmed off, and in fact, as soon as we trim the clip, those will disappear. But when a clip is fully unspooled, there is nothing beyond the end point of the first clip. There is nothing beyond the beginning point of the incoming clip. When you add a transition between two clips, you need a little extra footage beyond the end points of the clips to create the transition. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go over here to the transitions panel, and I'm just going to select a nice transition for demonstrating. We're going to choose the checkerboard and just drag it between these two clips. And if I move the playhead, you notice that there's a point where both clips are on screen at the same time. It's the transitional point. It begins at the beginning of the transition, ends at the end of the transition, and you notice that the transition actually begins for a one second transition, about half a second prior to the incoming clip, and ends about half a second after the outgoing clip. So what does the program do? It needs footage beyond the in point and beyond the out point to create that transitional segment where both clips are on screen at the same time. Well, if I move the playhead slowly through here, you can see what's happening. Now, my outgoing clip is people riding a bicycle past the camera. My incoming clip is a couple of people walking through a farmer's market. When I get to the transition, we see both clips on screen at the same time, but notice that the clip of the people walking through the farmer's market, until I get to the beginning of their clip, is frozen. There's no movement at all there. Then after we get to the end of the bicycling clip, that one freezes. So the program is trying to add extra footage that doesn't exist, okay? Footage that doesn't go beyond your in point and out point. The program is compensating for that by putting in freeze frames. And that can be a little bit frustrating. It looks pretty obvious if you play the movie. I don't know if it'll be real obvious here. You have movement and you get to the transition and things freeze for a second. And it would be even more obvious if it were a longer transition. The solution to that is, I'm just gonna click and remove that transition by pressing on the delete button. So the solution is to trim a little bit off each clip. So I'm just gonna trim just about half a second or so off the outgoing clip and trim half a second or so off the incoming clip. Now I've got a little extra video beyond the endpoints. And when I add my transition, there's no freeze frame. There's motion completely through the transition from both clips. One other thing that can happen that can be a little bit frustrating to people, let me remove that transition again, is that say they remove some of their clip, they trim some of it away. Say they don't want this clip to begin until right here, we'll trim that away. And then they add a transition. And what do you know, in the midst of the transition, things that they've cut away appear. Can you see? This is footage prior to our trim point of them walking through the farmer's market. Once again, it's because in order to create the transitional segment, the program has to use footage beyond the end points or beyond the beginning point of a clip. Maybe it'll become more clear if I demonstrate with the special clip I've created. So I'm going to remove that transition and I'm going to add a clip here that I created especially for this exercise. And this particular clip has a red segment and then it goes to green. So I'm going to trim away right up until the green begins. There we go. And then I'm going to add my transition. Okay, so we're beginning with green. We see only green, but when I add my transition, in the transitional segment, we will see, there it is, the red that I trimmed away. Again, it's because the transition simply needs to use a little extra footage beyond the cut point or beyond the trim point to create the transition. So be aware of that as you add your transitions. You need a transitional segment 
and you'll need to create that transitional segment or allow for it by trimming enough off your footage so that the unwanted footage or freeze frame does not appear. 